Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Starting our morning out down in Area 1 here. Nice little boardwalk out to the beach in Area 1. This is the first access point in Parking Lot 1 down at the south end of the park. We had some rain overnight. Let's see what other action we had overnight. See if we had any sea turtle crawls out here on the beach. Great ramp here. Easy access to the beach. 72 degrees right now. Partly cloudy skies. I think I, the weather forecast was calling for 89 degrees today. Crazy. There's a big difference between the north and south end of the park right now, especially in the water. The water is gorgeous down in areas one and two. Crystal clear. But up where that darn barge is and all the dredging equipment up at the north end of the park, that's where we the water gets cloudy. It's not gonna hurt you, it's just all churned up from the dredging and the pumping. Boy, not many shells on the beach here in Area 1. Very, very, very clean down here. Just a little bit of that seaweed up here. People are commenting, why don't they rake the seaweed up? Come on, people. What are you, a bunch of babies? <laughs> it's just seaweed. It's not going to hurt you. It just slowly decays and it'll be gone before you know it. That's the way things work at a beach. Let's see what number nest this is. Oh, that's sea turtle nest number five up there. I don't know how many we have now on the beach. But there's number five. That one's pretty high up on the beach. It's actually much nicer when they make it up into the dune areas, the sea turtles up behind the sea oats. That way, if we have one of those crazy high tides, they stand a better chance of surviving. Beautiful out here this morning. A little overcast, but still gorgeous. Stop asking about Lake O. We don't have any problems with the water from Lake O here this far south. That is up in Sanibel. You know, the news hypes everything up. They get everybody worried. I mean, yes, it is a problem. Don't get me wrong, but that is up in Lee County. Hopefully it will not make it down here. Everybody's quick. Anytime they see a change in color in the water, it's, oh, it's Lake O, it's Lake O. It's like, come on, people, read up on your facts. Do some Googling. And then take some action if you can. Definitely is a problem, the water releases. Here's nest number six. Loggerhead sea turtle nest number six. It's 
Still no signs of any crawls there on the beach. I was hoping to see some nice colors in the sky this morning. Not seeing any. There goes our park rangers. Heading down to the very end of the beach, down to the very, very end. The end of the beach is down where those condos start. That's where Vanderbilt Beach starts. The park ends and Vanderbilt Beach starts. Much, much nicer here. No homes or condos along the beach. Come on, Sky. Show your colors. There you go. Gorgeous out here. Getting a little, seeing a little oranges and yellows in the sky over here. Not a lot. Probably back behind the trees, more towards the eastern horizon. Area two now. We started down in area one. Just crossed into area two. Area two's not very long, but I just wanted to start down in one and see if we had any sea turtle crawls last night. It seemed to be coming up in areas one, two, three, and four. There's not much beach left in area five. Hopefully Roy will be up there, up in area four when we get up there, have a quick little chat with him. But not seeing anything in the way of seashells here on the beach, down in this part of the park. Saw quite a few shells yesterday up in the northern end, but didn't go home with many in my pocket. Area 3 beach seems to be the most active for the sea turtles right now. For some reason, they're coming up in Area 3. And you know, something interesting about those sea turtles, they come back to nest where they were born. They return to the beach where they were hatched. It's kind of cool when you think about it. They go out and swim around for years. And and come back and lay their eggs at the same place they were born. And they can lay several clutches of eggs during a nesting season. So it's very possible that the same turtle comes up on the beach several times during a nesting season and lays eggs. Give you a little look around here. Seventy, probably seventy-four degrees now. Starting to warm up a little bit. <laughs> beautiful colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. We'll look down to the south. Still got some nice little wave action. Not quite as much as yesterday. Again, at the waves, they tend to be a little bigger up at the north end of the park. The water's cloudier at the north end and the waves are a little bigger. The cloudy water, again, that's because of the dredging that's going on. They're really churning up things, especially pumping that sand out of that barge up in Area 4. Adding a lot of 
adding a lot of new sand out there just offshore, getting a pretty big sandbar out there now. Eventually that's gonna be collecting some really nice shells out there. A new home for some sand dollars. Probably start finding a lot of sand dollars once that dredging operation stops. Area three now. Areas one, two, and three are pretty short. Then there's a nice little stretch of beach between areas three and four. And of course four, area four is where our friend Roy hangs out. He parks his beach chair. Did I see it? Some turtle tracks back here. Thought I saw it. Might have been some old tracks now. That might have been a false crawl back up in here. Starting a up in this area is where the beach, we really got started seeing the signs of erosion in that darn tropical depression, Alberto. You see there's some erosion over there, over where they have it flagged off. Again, this is Area 3 Beach. This is not one of my favorite beaches to go swimming at. Lots of tree stumps out in the water, old tree stumps. You gotta be really careful. However, at the north end of Area 3, there's a great little boardwalk with a bench on the end. It's a great place to come and watch the sunset. Park Ranger coming up behind me. Park Rangers. Might be two of them there. An Osprey just flew above my head. There's Mark. Mark is on the driver's side. He's the one that saw the, captured that sea turtle the other day on the beach. That was awesome. Definitely gotta watch that video. To see one of those Loggerhead sea turtles in the light of day is absolutely incredible. And he captured that on video for us. Gosh, I wish I was here to see that. But that sea turtle that he captured in that video that's pinned to the top of my news feed came right ashore, right over here. This is where the nest is. This is where she made her nest. You can see her finishing up and leaving in the video. But isn't that amazing how close the nests are? So that one was nest number 15. That was the one that's in the video right there. You might recognize that boardwalk in the background. So there's nest number 12 and 15, side by side. That's kind of neat. No signs of any crawls yet. Any new, new crawls. There's that boardwalk that I was saying is a great place to sit and watch the sunset. That's right at the north end of Area 3. You can see there's a little bench right there to sit on. And somebody drug a picnic table out here. Gorgeous Friday morning. GGIF, everybody.
Where did all the seashells go? Looks like somebody took a broom and just swept the beach off here. No shells there. Crazy. Beautiful colors though, early morning. Well, the rangers didn't stop, so they must not have seen any turtle tracks on the beach, gosh darn it. I was hoping to see something new this morning. That's why I started all the way down in area one. Nest number is this there. Nest number 13 over there. Nest number 13. That one's nice and high up in the dune area. See all this debris that got pushed up onto the beach during the storm last month. Rooted. It uprooted a lot of trees up in the dune area. Number seven. These are all loggerhead sea turtle nests. This one is not in a good spot. This one's pretty far out on the beach. A big summer storm and a high tide and sadly, those little eggs are probably gonna drown in there. That's a shame. That girl needed to go a little further up. You can see there's already been a crab. See that hole down there? Crab digging down into the nest. Crabs are pretty much impossible to keep out of the nest. You can keep the raccoons out with these cages, but not the crabs, unfortunately. Beautiful out here. Well, the old barge isn't pumping yet. I don't know if they turned that on yesterday or not. I'll ask Roy when I see him. Hopefully we'll run into Roy up there. Starting to see a few shells now along the beach. Some real small broken ones. So maybe we'll find a shell or two, something interesting this morning. Found some nice worm shells yesterday. There's a piece of what was a big angel wing shell. Just a piece of one. We found a couple angel shells recently. Of course, our little kitten's paws, kitten paw shells. So many people like those. Cat lovers especially pick up these kitten paws. I'm guessing we're at high tide right now. That's another reason we're not seeing a lot of shells on the beach. See that darn barge sitting out there. And they're dredging now. 
Looks like they're dredging out in at the end of Wiggins Pass, just above my finger there. That's the actual dredging barge. And then they pump the sand over to this contraption over here and spits it out along the beach. I see Roy's beach gear up there, so I know he's here. There's a dead crab on the beach. Another sea turtle action. Darn. I came out here early this morning hoping to see some fresh tracks on the beach. Almost walked the whole beach. Started down in area one. Nothing's catching my eye down here. It's all little tiny pieces, bits and pieces of shells right now. There's a fighting conch shell, a lone conch shell just rolled up on the beach. a nice one that's a very nice conch shell right there definitely a keeper nice detail a few little stripes actually not many stripes a lot of times they have some really bold stripes on them that's a Florida fighting conch that's a keeper No turtle crawls. I hear the rangers making their way back to the front gate. Unless there happened to be one all the way down the end of the beach. That'd be the only thing. So I think we might still have 18 nests on the beach. A nice little clump of shells. Anything cool? Just broken shells, some pieces of a little piece of a whelk shell. A little broken scallop shell down here. Piece of a scallop. up a little further see what we find You know that little snowy egret that I filmed yesterday? You remember that video? Did you watch that? If you didn't, it's pretty funny watching him just run back and forth in front of my camera. It's kind of amazing. There he is right there again. Same spot as yesterday. a little piece of a little turkey wing shell 
They're little turkey wings. They're cool shells, the turkey wings. There's that little snowy egret. Just running up and down the beach looking for something to eat. Looking for some unexpected fish to swim by. See it's little yellow feet there. A little snowy egret, beautiful little birds. He's posing for the camera. Yep, off he goes. Very, very beautiful. Nessie Roy making his way down the beach. Must have been up saying his prayers, doing what he does up there in the morning, up at Wiggins Pass. Well, lots of little shells spread out in this little spit here. This new little spit of sand here, area four. All little stuff though. Little cockles and jewel boxes. Nice little cockle right there. It's a nice little cockle shell. Some worm tips. Look at all this new sand out here. This is all new. You can see it's very shallow out here right now. This is all new sand that's been pumped up from Wiggins Pass. Another nice little fighting conch shell. That's, boy, that's a nice clean one. That's a beauty right there. That's a very nice fighting conch. A little walk on this sandbar real quick see if there's anything crawling around or just I love just look, standing out here and looking back at the beach. Such a beautiful view with the morning colors. Look at that. I gotta take a picture, I'm sorry, bear with me. That's yeah, so beautiful. Just waiting for the reflections to get some nice reflections to take a photograph. Well, that's up by where our friend is, Roy. You can see him up there on the beach, area four. There's that barge 
right there. That's what pumps the sand out, that pipe. That sand comes all the way from Wiggins Pass and gets pumped out. And they're spreading it out all along Area 4 Beach here. Get back into shallower water. Look at that. Is that not beautiful looking that way too? Wow. Early morning light. Absolutely gorgeous. I always have to take a couple pictures during my walk. That's what the interruption is. I apologize, but there's nothing I can do about it. You can either record video or take some stills. I'm surprised I didn't see any little sand dollars out here. It's very possible they're here and they're just buried under the sands. Usually you just kind of have to do a little digging. But when you find them out here in the sand, they're alive, so don't take them home. Just, just collect the sand dollars that are washed up on the beach. I thought I'd maybe see a little something crawling around out here, but nope. No sea critters <laughs> crawling around out here. Just me. I'm the only critter out here on the beach. Look at this. This is just a carpet of little tiny shells here. There's a piece of a sand dollar. There's a corner of a sand dollar. Just a sliver. Happy Friday, everyone. What's everybody got planned for this weekend? Now they're having a great party out at Crackle and Jack's out in Golden Gate. I'll share a link to that. It's going to be a fun time. They're celebrating the reopening of their tiki bar out back. Crackle and Jack's. That'll be happening on Sunday. Interesting place. A lot of history. Crackle and Jack's. Now well, let's move up the beach. Say hi to Roy real quick. I've seen a lot of dead horseshoe crabs on the beach. I don't know if it has anything to do with this drilling or what, this dredging. Drilling, not drilling. I don't wanna go into drilling. There's a dead horseshoe crab right there. Upside down on its back. I believe it's a dead one. Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, that's a dead one. A lot of times you just find the empty shells. They shed their shells. But sadly, that's a dead one. Got down here a little worm shell. Little. There's the little worm. A little worm shell. That's a nice little worm shell. Got a little shell on it, the tip in the shell. Look at that, a bunch of shells all grown together. Old olive shell here. This is the tip, the old olive. Nice little scallop. Nice little scallop shell. There you go, worm shell and a scallop shell. I rinse the sand off of them. Stick them in my pocket.
It wasn't so cloudy here. I probably find some shells right out here in the water. A lot of times you find something nice rolls up while you're walking along. It's so darn cloudy because of this dredging. Just gonna have to stick to the beach here. There's a little tiny sliver of an apple murex shell. Just a slice of a slice of an apple. An apple murex. Got lots of little coquina shells on the beach. There's a little, there's a little tiny coquina shell. Both halves of it. All different colors of the little coquinas. A lot of people use those for crafts. Another common shells, the mossy arcs. There's a couple small mossy arc shells right here. Kind of look like a turkey wing, but if you see the two together, you'll definitely know the difference. You see the difference. The mossy arcs, boy, that sun is bright. Other common shells are the jewel box shells. Where did I see a jewel box? Here's a jewel box here. Half of a jewel box. There's another one, a smaller jewel box. Very common, the jewel box shells. turkey wing down here there's a turkey wing see a lot more stripes it says stripes where the other the mossy arcs just a solid brown there's some pieces of worm shells here some broken worm shells Not many big shells on the beach here. So far, all I picked up were a couple fighting conks. Beautiful morning, though. The sun's coming up over the trees now, big time. Starting to light up the beach. Light it up and heat it up. Beautiful out here. Look at that sky. Hey, there's a murex shell down here. Little old lace murex. There's a lace murex shell. That's a nice little murex. That's a great little find. I haven't found one of those lately. A lace murex. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. Another nice little worm shell. Couple wormies. Beautiful as we look up there to the north. Ooh, here's somebody we haven't seen in a while. One of our white ibis. One of our white ibis with the big orange bills. Look at him up there. Just 
just walking north up the beach. See if I can zoom in on them. The white ibis. A lot of times you'll see them in big groups. It's in the shadows now. Hard to see his orange colors. You just go walk up and down the beach, probing the sand, looking for, I think they go for coquinas and sand fleas. The white ibis. Wish he'd turn around and quit showing his butt to us. Neat birds. Florida yard chickens, lawn chickens, that's what people call them. You just get flocks of these in your front yards here in Florida. They're not just along the beaches. There are a lot of worm shells. I don't know why, but the beach is just covered with worm shells. Not covered, but I mean, there's a lot of them. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it has anything to do with this dredging. I'm gonna blame everything on the dredging. It's a nice worm. Some old, some old man over here on the beach. What are you up to? Well, I'm trying to keep keep away from the no seams. No seams are bad out here. Oh man, are they ever? Oh, because the wind kind of dropped down. Last couple oh, of days yeah. haven't been any because we had that nice wind. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of humid out here. Yeah, it's kind of humid. That rain last night, boy. I guess so. I didn't know it, but I saw all the streets were wet this morning. Yeah, we had a good downpour. When was that about? Oh, I think it was around 3. 3 a.m.? Yeah. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I was snoozing it off, having interesting dreams. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about those dreams when I get back. <laughs> I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Work, Roy, work on something profound. profound. Come up with a profound statement for us this morning. Okay, perfect. A thought for the day, love it. I'm not gonna go too much farther here. Just up to where the beach ends, where it got washed away. Come back and see Roy. Here's that white ibis again. Got a little sunlight on him. Let's see. Come on, get in the sunlight. See his orange? Ah, back in the shade. Yeah, we'll run into him again. Not too much further up here, our beach abruptly ends. It got devastated. Devastated by Tropical Depression, Alberto. Well, oh, I thought I made a find, but no, I saw that piece of a crown conch, an old crown conch. These are one of my favorite shells. They're absolutely gorgeous, the crown conchs. Incredible shells when you find them. They're actually brown and beige. They're beautiful. It's just a piece of an old worn crown conch. Another nice little worm shell. Man, I'm getting a pocket full of worms. <laughs> 
Hey, and there's something nice. A little baby turkey wing. That's a great little shell right there. A little baby turkey wing shell. Nice one. Nice little find. Definitely keep that. shells spread out along here now lots of bits and pieces though I don't know where we're at with the tide if it's coming in or going out or what Seems like it's right up, we're right around high tide right now. There's a big slipper shell. A slipper shell. You know, these shells have been here for a while, but it's amazing how they just keep changing as the tide comes in and out. It uncovers new shells, brings some, washes some new ones up on the beach. Like I always say, every morning is different here. You never know what you're going to find. This morning it's been worm tip morning, worm shell morning. These are gorgeous, these augers, these little auger shells. Let's see if I can get some light on it. The auger shell. Look, there's stripes. Make sure there's nothing in there. Always check inside, make sure there's nothing inside any shell you pick up. I don't want to take any living creatures home, leaving animals home from the beach. That's a nice little kitten's paw. Two little kitten's paws side by side. You can see how they vary in colors and sizes. More worm shells. <laughs> this piece of an old tulip, a broken banded tulip shell. Boy, lots of shells scattered around here. Too many. Too many shells for one person to look through. Piles of them. Piles and piles.
I'm just amazed at the amount of worm shells that are buried out here today. Everywhere I look. Worm shells everywhere. Where's the moon shells and the whelks? There are a, a lot of shells down here beneath my feet right now. I mean, just... You, you can't focus on anything. There's so many shells, it's amazing. And these have been here for a while and people have gone through them. And yet there's still lots of beautiful shells down here. Beautiful little scallop shell. cockle shell with part of a worm shell sitting in it. <laughs> That's cool. Little cockle, little baby cockle shell. Piles, piles and piles of shells here to just sift through, to dig through. Yeah, straighten up here. Straighten up my back, give you a look down the beach. We're up in area four. Absolutely gorgeous morning out here. Just trying to find something neat. See, this is all shells here. See this big pile? All seashells. I know there's something great down there, and I just can't focus on it. You gotta walk really, really slow when you're shelling. You just kind of stare at an area for a little bit, then move to another area. Otherwise, it's just one big white blur. That beautiful little scallop. Yep. A weak connection here. So many seashells. All right, I don't see any whelk shells though. Any broken ones. There's a top of, man, that would have been a beautiful whelk right there, just the top of one. bad connection right here for some reason. I have no control over that. 
but I'll repost this video on YouTube so you can see the whole thing in a little better quality. Plenty of shells to dig through here. Plenty of them. Just, just past Roy, just north of Roy in Area 4. That's where these piles are. I'm sure it'll be worth your efforts. There's where our beach comes to an end. Just a temporary end. As long as it's not high tide, you can make it around the trees up here. But we lost a lot of our beautiful beach here. What a shame. A lot of beautiful beach gone. You can see how high the beach, where the beach used to be up there. You can see there's a lot more wave action right in this little area too, where the beach is eroded. Well, I got a long walk back. I started down in area one this morning. We're in area five now. I want to stop and chat with Roy for a couple minutes. He said he's got a thought for the day for us. Can't wait to hear that. A couple little fighting conks up here on the beach. There's a nice one here. Nice little Florida fighting conch shell. Nobody home. find them in different colors. That was a nice dark orange one. See this one? This one's a little faded out and worn. A little lighter in color. Not as pointy on the top. There's a nice scallop, I believe. That's a, pretty, that's a nice scallop shell, another keeper. Such a big variety of scallop shells here on the beach. Wide variety. Lots of cockle shells on the beach. There's a nice cockle right down here. Nice big cockle shell. Oh goodness. Over here we have a piece of a big old whelk shell. Sadly a dead horseshoe crab. A dead little horseshoe crab. Look at that piece of an old giant whelk shell. Look at that. Wow. That would have been humongous. Humongous.
another nice cockle. Another nice cockle shell. Scallop shell. Scallop on the left, cockle on the right. Well, it's time to turn around. As much as I'd like to continue walking up to Wiggins Pass, I've got to get out of here. Like I said, I started down in Area 1. I got a long walk back. It's a beautiful Friday morning. So let's head back down the beach, see if there's anything we missed. Check in with Roy. a neat piece of coral. Very cool looking piece of coral right there. That'd be really neat in an aquarium. That's a nice piece of coral. Gorgeous weather. Another beautiful scallop shell. Boy, I found some nice scallop shells out here this morning. There's another beauty. Don't want to lose my gimbal. I had enough of that ordeal yesterday. Whew. Fortunately, I was able to get it working again. So we're up in Area 5 now, up in North Naples at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, walking south. I have not seen any dolphins. I have not seen any dolphins lately. You can ask Roy if he's seen any. We well, used to see them all the time out here. We've had some great dolphin encounters out here at the beach. All shells piled up here in front of me. All seashells. All along there. All back in here. Looks like they're coming 
Looks like the tugboat's coming to move this barge. I think it's on its way. I was hoping to find a couple moon shells this morning, but no luck. I'm sure they're buried under here somewhere. There's an old whelk. This is an old whelk shell right there. comes the tugboat. See it over there? They're going to move this barge, relocate it. It looks like it's washed up on the beach, washed up on the sandbar. It's going to take them a while to move it. Nice little jewel box shell down there. Got a couple of its little spines on it. The jewel box, spiny jewel box. No new sea turtle nests last night. Gosh darn it. I don't know what we're up to. Last count that I know of, we had 18 nests on the beach. Roy said he's got a thought for the day for us. Can't wait to hear that. He's just up here in front of me. There's a nice olive shell down there. I missed that one earlier. Boy, that's a great looking olive shell. It's got the tip on it. A lot of times the tip's off. Nice little olive. Nothing in there but some other shells. Always find these olives tend to have other shells stuck inside them. Crazy, the olive shell. Rinse the sand off of that one. A lot of little shells right off the shore here, right along the shoreline actually right now. It's kind of hard to see with the waves. Maybe at low tide, we'll be able to find something out there. Roy, Roy, Roy. How's it going? Well, the sun's coming out. The sun's finally popping out here. The tug is maneuvering. Looks like they're going to move the barge again, huh? Yeah, I think they're going to keep dredging. They moved those big dredges out. Yeah. Way out. I guess they're going to dredge. I guess it got filled there. in again after that storm. They have to start <laughs> over again. Well, I suppose they'll be dredging for years and years. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I haven't seen any dolphins lately. How about I you? I haven't either. Well, there was a couple, yeah. I saw going, a couple going dolphins. Going on the river the other day. Oh, okay. The morning. 
couple going up the river. Up in the pass. Yeah, that was about it. Let's so see. how's everything going with you? Oh, good, good. Good. Nothing, same old things. A little work here and there. And coming out to the beach, seeing my friends. Hey, you can't beat chatting that. Chatting with my friends. <laughs> nope. Well, that, that's all the most important part of life. And that's it. Enjoying See the journey. Friends. Just enjoying that yeah. journey. And my word for the day that you wanted. You got a thought is, for us? Is, yeah, is observation. Observation. Yeah, I think it's really, uh, it's delightful and it's important to observe all of the uh, miracles on earth here. The miracle of life, which we are a participant in. Oh, you got so, that right. So it's it's interesting to observe all the life around us, the, th the multitude of different types of life, and how it uh, how it uh, generates and reproduces and, and grows, and then eventually passes away. To just observe all this is an unbelievable thrill, and it's a uh, it's quite a. Um, um, concession from the great creator to allow us to be observant and to see all these things. Yep. It's, a, it's a thrilling, inspiring thing to observe life and the fact that we're part of this life. Right. And so we should even observe ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the mirror. There you go. <laughs> but, we, uh, we do observe other people, that's for sure. Yeah, we observe others and they're observing us. and. Uh, it's just interesting to observe everything instead of just kind of uh, closing your eyes to everything and just plodding along and and right. uh, and being disinterested. If you observe things, uh, life takes on a, a new uh, uh, thrilling uh, aspect for you. It does. You're right. Yeah. So that's the word of the day. It all ties in with enjoying the journey. Yes, it does. Observation is a big it. part yeah. of the journey. Observing everything. And of course, observing uh, uh, dangers too, that's important oh, yeah. for your own survival, uh, especially when you're driving your car. Be observant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. some of the other drivers might not be observant, and that would be detrimental to your own health and well being. Yeah. Observe people's behavior. Well, nice. observing other people is interesting. It is. Because people are probably the most interesting part of nature people anyway. People watching. Yeah, and you can tell how they're doing just by the expression on their face, and they chat with you a little bit. And it's just uh, interesting. And it's funny how people are different when you go when you go to the big city. You know, people are just kind of scurrying along the sidewalks in a big rush. They don't even look at you. <laughs> Whereas you come out here to the beach, everybody's friendly. They say hi. You, they give a hug. <laughs> Lucky you, you get hugs. Well, when they come to the beach, they aren't uh, Everybody's relaxed busy, there. busy with their work. Yeah. You know? They come here to uh, relax and have a vacation or whatever. Yeah. People are just Yeah, I can understand here. when people are busy working, they're scurrying. There's no question about it. They're but, thinking know, of their work. I mean, I, this, this I, city I, we live in, it's very relaxed. The whole city of Naples is relaxed. Yeah. Well, it's a city for... Uh, or retirees to a great yeah. extent, I think they yeah. make their money up north and come down retirees. here. Retirees, we have a lot of settle in middle-aged folks here now. Yeah, yep. A lot of a lot of families starting to move down here. People with kids. Yeah, well, it's a delightful area, no question about it. Absolutely. And this park is just a treasure of everything. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. But no, observe. That's a great great word for the day. <laughs> Great, something that'll be fun to do this weekend. Observe. Spend your weekend observing. Well, we can observe the Preakness on sat uh, Saturday, I think. Yeah, Saturday, tomorrow. Yep, that's the last. Yeah. I think we're going to have a triple crown. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something, that one horse? Wow. Yep. That would horse. be neat. <laughs> well, well, it's fun to watch the horses run. I parked all the way down the end there, down in one. Really? Yep. Well, you've had a long walk. Yeah, I got a long walk back, so I got to get moving along. You want to ride back? <laughs> I, I can jump in the car and drive you back if you want. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're looking great. Oh, you too, Roy. It's always good talking to you. Well, it's a delight Thank you for you. sharing your wisdom. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Just kind of fun. Just 
things I, I think about and news about. Yeah. I might as well give you I might as well give you some FaceTime here for a minute. FaceTime? Yeah, I'll let you take the phone here. I'm gonna flip it on. Let some folks say hi to you real quick. Oh, it's nice saying hi to everybody. Yep. Hi, everybody. Love to our beautiful area. Love our blessed, thankful. Ah, Stephanie Bowie. To Roy from Arkansas. My goodness, hi from Arkansas. <laughs> it's early there. Well, I'll be darned. Anybody, anybody saying anything? Ah, Amanda Margaret. Good morning, Roy. Good morning, Amanda. Nice, nice to see you. <laughs> well, and there's Linda Magyar is watching. Oh, Good. And well, Aunt, Aunt Anna says, hi, Roy, I love you. Well, I love you too, dear. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? <laughs> well, Linda's watching. She's not out here at the beach. <laughs> yeah. And here's uh, uh, Janice. Good morning from Arkansas. And Tammy says, good morning, Roy. Glad to see you. Doing well. Thank you. Karen, what about the book? Oh, the book is coming. Uh, we're finishing it up and, and uh, should be uh, getting up to the printers here in a, another week or so. Uh, and Raymond, hi, Roy from Chattanooga. Kimberly says, hi. Lisa, hi, good morning. Hi, Lisa. Kelly, hi, Roy. Love seeing you from Indiana. Well, how sweet. Ivan says, hi, hi, Ivan. Daniel, Dan from Norwalk, uh, Iowa. No, I-A, what's I-A? <laughs> and Patty, beautiful morning to you, Roy. Love listening to your wisdom. <laughs> your wisdom, there you go. I don't know if I got any wisdom. Got wisdom. <laughs> Charlene is watching. Hi, Charlene. Well, isn't this sweet? That is nice, isn't it, Roy? Yeah. I, all these people say. Yeah, that's what. All these people watching. Oh, that's so nice of you to talk to Roy like that. Thank you. Yeah. Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom comes with age. You get it, whether you want it or not. You get wisdom and you get old. Hey, age. do you think the older I get, the wiser I'll get? Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's better than getting foggy. <laughs> you got that right. Uh, I wonder what happened here. It looks like this thing's stuck up on the beach, this barge. Yeah, I hear it bumping. It's not there. moving. Uh, it's, yeah. It is moving a little bit, but the Boat's off just offshore here. It looks like they're going to come and push it down the beach a little further like south. Like a pipe. They pulled up one of those buoys the pipe. Uh, they've been having some problems with it, I guess. There goes some pelicans flying by it. Oh, hey, must be a lot of fish. Of birds, I got an interesting one. Here. Hang on. Speaking of birds, what? I got an interesting thing that I learned yesterday. There was a What's gentleman. That? Uh, and I don't know how he came to be aware, aware of it, but he was telling me in South America there's a fish that eats birds. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's a, he's got a big mouth and he lurks around, and when the birds fly close to the uh, water, he springs out of the water yeah. and gulps the bird. Yeah. Can you believe it? There's some crazy fish, yep. Usually it's the other way around. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, there's some crazy birds down south, or fish in South America. Yeah, that's amazing. He flies way out of water and grabs a bird. Yep, <laughs> it is. Poor birds. <laughs> amazing. All right, well, I got to get rolling. I still got to walk you, down the beach. All right, I'll see you later, Roy. Good to see yep, you. Yep, tally ho, happy Have Friday. Yep. Hopefully I'll be back out this weekend. Good show. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Cheerio. <laughs> Take a quick photo. Bear with me. Okay. I got to head back down to area one now where I started. Got a long ways to go here. So let's get walking. Missed our friends Scott and Linda out here this morning. They're busy working on their new home. Congratulations to them. If you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. I saw some nice fighting conks on the beach this morning. 
some great fighting conchs. There's another one. Another nice little Florida fighting conch. Another nice little, little worm shell. Found a lot of those this morning too. A lot of these worm shells. Seems all the nice, the nicer shells are up at the northern end of the park. Really didn't see many shells down in area one. Some pelicans out there bobbing around in the water. See if I can zoom in to them. See them out there? Bobbing up and down on the waves brown pelicans that's our most common pelican here there must be a school of fish out there they're sitting on top of making their way north gorgeous out here absolutely beautiful I love walking out on this sandbar out here. Nothing crawling around here yet, but eventually we'll start hopefully seeing some sea stars, sand dollars. Beautiful out here on this Friday morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Just looking back up at Roy's Beach there. Bear with me while I take a quick photo. Sorry about that. Beautiful view of the beach from the sandbar here. A mile long stretch of beach at Del Nor Wiggins. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This is that same little snowy egret that we saw in the video that I shared yesterday. Got to get a picture of them from over here. That's kind of neat from out in the water. Get them all fluffed up there. Beautiful, beautiful bird.
That was neat seeing those pelicans dive into the water. Walking south now. I'm up in North Naples, Florida, if you're just tuning in. Making my way back to where we started, down at the boardwalk at Area 1 Beach. Nice little walk this morning. Stopped and chatted with Roy. Love the sound of those waves. The remains of somebody's sand castle here. Decorated with seashells. Turn around and give you a look back up the beach. Beautiful out here, isn't it? Beautiful sky. There's an old tulip shell. A really old banded tulip shell, look at that turn gray. Still see a couple of its little stripes. That's a really old tulip shell. Wow. You know that tulip shell that I picked up. Here's what that there's one. Another piece with some of the colors. David, good morning. 
Hey, good morning. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you guys good. today? We're coming from Poland. From Poland. Hi. Welcome, welcome. You know me. We live in you, Chicago then. Summer you, of you Chicago. You live together in Chicago? Yeah. Nice. Then we, we're close in Poland too. We're so close together. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Polish neighbors. people in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Neighbors here and neighbors in Poland. There you go. Good yeah. food. Yeah, thank I love you. the Polish food. Yeah. <laughs> have a, Welcome. Have a good one. You too. This is our international beach. People from all around the world come here. It's amazing. Now we're in the shade of the pines here along the beach, these big Australian pines. Somebody out here volunteering, picking up trash on the beach. God bless him. He's up, up in there picking trash up. People are so lazy when they come to the beach. Not all people, just some people. Those bad eggs spoil it for all of us. Getting into Area 3 Beach now, the north end of Area 3. Always got to remember to look up in these trees for birds. It's more than just shells on the beach here. Gotta look up, check the trees for some interesting birds. Good morning. How, How you doing? Good, fine. Hear the birds chirping. Just wanted to show you a couple of our sea turtle nests here. Here's two nests side by side, nest number 12 and nest number 15. This nest here on the right that's the one where I have the video posted where you see the sea turtle just finishing covering her nest and heading back out into the water. That nest on the right. I'm gonna take a quick picture, bear with me. And there we go. So nest number 12 on the left, nest 15 on the right. Again, that's the one right there that we have the video of. That female loggerhead just finishing covering her eggs and heading out into the water. Check out that video, it's pinned to the top of my page. There's an osprey up in the tree up here. I can hear him calling out. Maybe we'll get a look before it flies away. It's right out on the edge of the branch up here. Maybe I'll be able to zoom in and get a good look at it. There, that's a great look at an osprey. Well, it was a great look at an osprey. We moved just a little further south. I think I heard one, yep. There's another one offshore. He just flew down here and landed on the branch down here. Good morning. Good 
lot of seaweed here. Nothing's gonna hurt you. Just decomposes and rots away. Doesn't hurt a thing. State parks, they just leave the beach in its natural state. If I can get you another look at this osprey. He's just up, right up at the top of that tree there. I'm gonna try and zoom in again. There it is, I'm assuming that's a male. Hard to hold a camera steady. about as good as I can do, folks. That's an osprey. Google them. O-S-P-R-E-Y. Osprey. Something you might want to do is take a little time and check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. You will see some great photos of Osprey. Almost a whole turkey wing shell, pretty good size one. Give you a look back up our beach here. Oh, the Osprey took off. The Osprey was right up in that tree there. Just flying back and forth. That's why I say always remember to look up in these trees. Find some cool birds. I don't know, I guess he's still up there. There's a guy taking a picture. Oh yeah, I just, he's right up on the tip of that branch up there. Very neat. It's a nice look up the beach from the north end of area two. Nice ramp here, nice access ramp to the north end of area two. Over there to the right. Nice beach walk this morning. We almost walked the entire length of the park. Went from area one to area five. Just didn't get all the way up to Wiggins Pass or to the very south end of the park. We walked a good portion of the beach this morning. Good morning. Almost back to our starting point.
a couple months ago, there would have been lots of people out here on the beach. Really quiets down here in the summertime. Fourth of July, this place will be packed. Crazy amount of people show up here on holiday weekends. A lot of folks come from the East Coast over in Miami, spend the day here. Water looks great down here in area one. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Somebody made their own little shell tree out here on the beach. Look at that. Good idea. Got their own little shell tree started. It's a great look up the beach again. A mile long stretch. Well, not quite a mile now. We lost a little beach in a section, but still beautiful mile of shoreline. <laughs> well, I can hear that osprey calling out from way down there. Way down in those trees. I can hear them all the way up here. Wow. Beautiful blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Hey Lynn, how are you doing today? Great. Morning. Here we are down where we started from. We started over on this ramp right over here. You can see where the state park ends and where those buildings start. That's Vanderbilt Beach where the condos start. Big difference. All the condos down there and then you get to the state park and look at no condos, just beautiful, natural, unspoiled preserve. Love it. I'll take you up where we began up on this boardwalk here. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. And of course, I don't get paid to do these beach walks. This is something I do on my own, but if you want to make a little contribution, it is always greatly appreciated. Helps pay the phone bill. Very important to have a phone to come out and do these beach walks. If you do want to Make a little contribution. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little bit later, the conclusion of the live feed. And remember, 
I will put a little higher quality version of this video on YouTube. And I'll add the link to the description of this post along with, I'll share it in a few photographs that I took this morning. We're up on top of the boardwalk now in area one. This is where we began. A little before seven o'clock this morning. Friday morning, gorgeous, isn't it? Sun's just popping out again. Look at all these gorgeous sea oats over here. Beautiful. All in bloom. Look at them all over there. That is gorgeous. Well, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day wherever you're at. Wonderful Friday. A great weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.